Hello and welcome to my video today. I got this box in from ORS, Ocean Repair Service, and it's called the C-Scan. So it will allow us to do diagnostics using a OBD2 device connected to a laptop. So let's get started. This is the box. It says ORS C scan on the side. Let me open it up. Inside we have a foam protective piece here and we have a USB cable. So this is USB A on this end and this is micro USB on this end. And then we have the device itself. ORS little box here and this is where we attach the USB cable so let's plug that in so that is attached what it looks like like that and then this end here gets connected to the OBD2 port which is located to the left of the steering wheel down a little bit on the console so you would plug this in and then the other end of this gets plugged into a laptop and what's nice is if you have the taco tray put the laptop on the taco tray and this should be able to reach it no problem and then we could look at the app so you're going to be sent the app in an email after registering and then you can get started with doing the scan on the car so I'll bring out the laptop to the ocean hook this up and show you those next steps take the OBD2 connector and move it so that the thinner side is facing the driver's seat so basically this direction here, and then we're gonna insert it into the port right here. So I'm just gonna insert that in. And there we go. At this point, we have the OBD connector over here. It's attached to the car. The cable is under the seat, comes out, and I attach it to my laptop. Now we can turn the laptop on. I have already copied the software. It's in a Google Drive. Once you get the email after registration, put it on the computer, and then we can start it up. Here we go. I have the app right on the desktop. I'm gonna double click on it. And the app is started. I'm going to make it full screen and here we go ORS C scan so this diagnostic software is not connected to the internet it is self-contained on the laptop here and directly connected to the car via the OBD2 port so there's no internet involved and another positive thing about this software is that once installed on this laptop I can use it on other oceans it's not restricted to a single VIN as long as it's using the same laptop and that adapter I can move this over to a different car and do the diagnostics so I am going to press the connect button here and I am going to press the start logging button. Well, actually, I am going to press read VIN. And this gives me some information here. So we have a speedometer up top, which obviously I'm parked right now and charging. So there's going to be no values for speedometer. Below that, we have the high voltage battery output in amps, high voltage battery in volts and high voltage state of charge percent. 
Let's see, if I put the car in ready mode, let's see if that makes any difference. All right, I am gonna press start logging. And now we're getting some more information here. Our low voltage battery is showing 13.956, or it's kind of hovering in that area, 13.35. We have MF temp, 107 degrees Fahrenheit. We have HV temp, 82 degrees Fahrenheit, high voltage battery. And we have MR temp, 107 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we have some more information on the bottom here. We have the high voltage battery state of charge now showing 78%. I'm in the middle of charging it. I have a trip tomorrow, so I'm gonna be charging it up to 100%. It's gonna hit that number about when I'm gonna leave at 7 a.m. So very interesting here. You can see the voltage and the amperage in live version right here as it's going through. So this is capturing all this information. So when I press the start logging button, it's capturing all this data. And when you're done, you press the stop logging, which is right over here. So I'm gonna let this keep on going. If you watched my previous video where I had the overhead fan have the issues of constantly running, I showed a way of clearing the DTCs using an OBD2 adapter and this basically does the same thing. So if you do have that fan constantly running, you would just press this button up here called clear DTCs, and that would clear any of those diagnostic trouble codes, and your fan should be quiet. We also have request software versions. That's another feature. So let me press that right now and see what that gets me. Now we have a little output thing here, this little box here. This gives you all the ECUs of the modules and what their firmware version is. So let me go press this button, go back to the top, because there's quite a few of them. As you can see, it's ACU, PKC, BCM, BMS, ESP. We have IB. EPSO, EPST, ECC, we have GW, we have ICC, MCUF, MCUR, PDU, VCU, VSP. So yeah, that's uh, I guess the major modules that are showing their firmware versions. Mind you, this is the basic version of this app. There is going to be a professional version coming out that's going to offer more features. We don't have a list of all those yet because it's still under development. So when we do get that, I will probably do another video showing you what the pro features are and uh, cover that and give you examples. I also want to mention that the DTC clearing is not only helpful for the fan, but also when you have a 12 volt battery recovery, pump replacements, or seat disconnects, it can also reset those diagnostic trouble codes. So those are the core features that we have in this basic version. It is the clearing of the DTC. We have all of the software versions of the ECUs and we also have data logging of various data streams in the car. So those are the three big features and you can save it and have access to that data later on if you wanna look at it. So as you can see, this is my very first time using it. It is plug and play. I did not have to do anything. All the software was all pre-configured and it seems pretty easy to use. So gets a thumbs up from me as far as ease of use and the capabilities for the basic functions seem to be working fine. At this point, I'm going to press stop logging. All right, so here we go. After you press that stop logging, it's going to save those logs to a directory 
And I noticed right here on the root of the C drive, there's a directory now called ORS logs. So I'm going to double click on that. And here is a text file inside. I'm going to double click on that and see what it looks like. And here we go. We have a date time stamp here. We have state of charge, miles per hour, and the current and voltage. So as you can see right here, so it basically updates this constantly while this is logging. Quite a few rows in here of data. So hopefully we'll see some improvements in the data logging for the pro version that will capture more information. So we'll see what is covered in that update. But as it is right now, that's the type of data that's stored in these logs. All right, so that is the log file. So now when I'm ready to end the program, I'll press the disconnect button right here. And the data flow stops. At this point, I'll close the app. Are you sure you want to quit? Yes. And the app is now closed. I'll disconnect the USB cable and the OBD2 port from the car and put it away. All right, that about wraps it up for the video today on the ORS C scan, which is a combination of this OBD2 device with USB cable that attaches to a laptop. And then you download the C scan software and then you can run this system. As you can see, it was fairly easy to use, and this basic version gives you some useful features such as clearing the DTC codes, looking at the versions of the ECU modules, and also having a log of data that can be stored on the laptop. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you're interested in purchasing this item, see the link in the video description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.